All right, this is gonna be a follow-up to the dash pod for my SCT Livewire TS. Um, one of the issues that I had, I fixed. Uh, you can see I added this right here. Uh, it's a little grommet, I drilled a hole. And it looks really messy, sorry for the bad lighting. But what this is, is it's a piece of fiber optic. And where I drilled the hole in the aluminum right there is the sunlight sensor uh, on the back of this. So if you had it on your windshield with a suction cup, when it's night, the screen, get, screen gets dimmer. If it's day, the screen's brighter. Um, I didn't like having it really bright at night, having it turned up all the way because I use it all the time. So I did that to fix it. Um, just got some stuff off eBay. Uh, probably doesn't really matter on the size, but uh, I'm about to hook it up and test that it works. All right, I just hooked it up. You can see I, I parked at a spot in my driveway so it's directly in the sun to make sure that it's getting good reading and the screen is bright. I went into the settings and I turned it so at night it's down at zero and during the day it's at 100. So I'm gonna cover and it doesn't, eh, well, it actually happened pretty quick right there. Uh, Cause before when I was doing a little mock test, it took a little bit of time and I'll take my finger back off. Yeah, sweet. That piece only cost me, I bought one foot of that fiber optic and I think it cost me like $8 of shipping on eBay. Um, I did like a search for coded fiber optic and there's a bunch of different thicknesses and stuff that you can purchase but this is a real easy fix I had some grommets from an assortment I had from Harbor Freight um, pretty happy with it that's pretty cool now I can adjust it so I'm not getting blasted at night I'll actually try just driving into the shade and see if that makes even a difference. Alright, so now I'm in the shade of my carport. Alright, so it it's not super sensitive which is good, so that way if it's a cloudy day or something like that, I'll cover my finger up. Yeah. Let's see if it comes back. Yep. Sweet. That was a good fix. Hopefully this helps somebody else that found that to be an annoying same problem. Here's what it looks like from the outside. Uh, one last quick comment too. Um, in the first video, I would posted that I was going to contact KT Performance about the issue I had with the original backing. Uh, they never wrote back to my emails. Uh, and then what they had finally done is I'd shared my first video on their Facebook page. And then they called me back. And they said I'm the only person who had the problem again. And then the guy offered me like a free t-shirt and said that they ordered new plastics for their 3D printer to make it better. And I told him, I said, look, I don't want a free t-shirt or anything. I just want you guys to make it right. And he told me that they were gonna call me and send me one of the new ones when they make it. Uh, that was in the spring and it's midsummer now. I, th I wanna say it was back in March and it is the end of August now. So I don't think they made any changes. I'm a little disappointed with that, but it is what it is. Just had to make it myself.